Hello guys, um, well, today from Boston, Massachusetts on the Red Hat Summit 2017, uh, I'm going to make this quick video about how to register the VM um, to use the repository from Red Hat, Red Hat channel, origin. So first of all, you need to download the ISO. There are two ways to download the ISO. First. You can create an account on developers.rayhat.com. You can click download and you can or register. It's better to go straight to download and then just download the ISO for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.3. And then they're going to redirect to the when you hit here, for example, oh, a click. Okay, it's working. Now he redirect to in order to uh, register. You can link the link the account, but is this is a, temp, a testing um, VM? So you need to submit a, um, your personal uh, email address. You can create a new email address to in order to do this. After you download the ISO, you go to rehat.com, and here is where you subscribe to get the 30 days and subscription. So what I'm going to do? Well, I already created my account, okay, Gmail account. Now I'm going to Technologies, Red Hat Linux platform. Now we go to Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Then I will hit Try. And now they give me something like this for the evaluation. I'm going to hit continue. And now they ask me for login or register. I'm going to register. I already copy um, here the email address that I'm going to use for this. It's going to be personal. The Red Hat login is going to be this. Yes, the email address is going to be that one at gmail.com. Password, you need to set a password, of course. A strong password is fine, but in because this is this is a in order just to practice, so you don't need to be, be really accurate to this. I'm gonna say it's a testing and subscription. I wanna pay like a Fred Smith. Yeah, I'm going to put that name, I'm going to pick United States, address, I'm going to pick any address, um, zip code, I'm going to say this zip code, for example, and then for number, I'm going to say 1702, 10909, agree, submit, and now you already have the account with Red Hat. This is not a, a corporate an account is a personal account. I already has the email address from Red Hat. I'm going to validate my email address. Okay, that's fine. Manage account. Okay, you see the email address. If you see here something like uh, the they need to resend the um, to confirm the email address, just click resend and you will get a new email address from Red Hat. Okay? So in that case, I think it's ready to go. You go to Red Hat Con, you go to technology again, make sure you are logging. Yeah, you're logging. Okay, let me click here. You go to technologies, Linux platform. Sometimes here they appear the button say download. But in that case, no, I don't know. Okay, click on Red Hat Enterprise Linux, try, and they give you something like, um, just a second, let me close this tab, we don't need it. This one also, we don't need it. This is the evaluation, see? Here's the download. So I'm going to click, middle click on download to open a new tab, just in case. I'm going to hit continue to 30 day evaluation and now they give me this sometimes when you try to and now you move to the download tab sometimes when you try to start the evaluation with Red Hat Enterprise Linux okay let me let me, okay let me go back here to 
because I need this little one. Okay. You say start evaluation. Sometimes fail. Sometimes they don't give you the okay get start. I want I want to start the evaluation. I want to what is new. Um, request an evaluation. Okay. Here you see the download. But you already download the ISO. Now you now you will get the ISO. Here we go. See, you hit click download, and you can download the ISO. See, so you can download, but you need to start the evaluation. So in that case, you need to go to. Oh, da, 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 it's right here. No downloads. Yeah, when it here start evaluation okay continue oh, they give you this kind of error you see it's not it's a personal it's not a business so in that case I recommend to click on download and then just and just pick another um, Red Hat Linux um, platform. Like I want to take um, OpenStack, for example. Click on OpenStack, start evaluation, and you will get this button, continue. This is the button that we need. So continue, and they give you agree. And now you can start the evaluation. Here we go. You can try now. Now they give you the pretty much to download OpenStack Platform 10, but you already download the, for example, let me go back here. Let me close this one. You already download the this one. If you click on behind the practice Linux, you already download the binary DVD. See, you can able to download. So now you you will get a new email from Red Hat saying oh your evaluation start. You can just get start. It doesn't matter if you click the button or not because it's gonna prompt or redirect to the same page. So now as you create and you start the evaluation, you can go back to your VM. This is your VM. Okay, let me open a little bit more. Let me log in. Oh, let me log in here. There are two ways to subscribe. First, you need to verify that the VM has a internet access. Okay, so first one. Now you can use the subscribe manager regi register. Oh, register. You can use this when you hit enter. They ask you for a username and then for a password. The other way, uh, more easy to do, is using the system tool Red Hat Subscription Manager. Remember, this is for testing environment only, for a VM to practice. They're gonna prompt this, next. Now they ask you for a username and password. I already set this username when I create the account on Red Hat. And now you can just type the password, register, and now the system just go to the website and find the subscription and then attach to the to the system. But it's not auto attach, you need to attach manually. Okay? They found it. Sometimes yeah, they do the auto attach. Yeah. Here we go. They found the subscription, 60 day, open stack. Don't worry about this. Okay? About the name. Probably when you try you can able to subscribe six to 30 days on Red Hat Interplex Linux, no open stack. You click attach. There you go. And now you are subscribed. So now you see here everything you can you can start enable repositories. So but first you need to subscribe manager, right? Repos con um, repos um let me see list first that dash consume and you will see the subscription that are already consumed you can also out attach the this you can say attach pool sorry pool 
and then click the pool name ID and hit enter. But I'm gonna say the this this pool ID is already attached to the system. You see, has been subscribed pool has already subscribed. So now you need to see subscribe manager, right? And you will see the repos and that dash and disable and you will say like a disable um, equal stop okay you hit enter sometimes takes time to you see there are nothing so that's weird because if you check the cat it's on exe jump jump repos d and rehat you see the file is empty so the files auto generate by this but it takes some time to auto generate so for that reason i recommend to reboot or you can just wait a little bit you can wait it's fine but I recommend let me see just a second okay yes I would recommend to do a, a quick reboot on the, the VM this gonna this not going to take very long time just give you a sec okay it's a starting as you see it's it's very easy to register Okay. You can also find a documentation after you register how to and um, create your own repository. Just download the la latest uh, RPMs from the from the repository where when from where you subscribe. Um, for example, if you subscribe to the OpenStack, you can download the latest um, RPMs from OpenStack. Or if you subscribe for another plug, another repository, it's the same. I'm going to open a terminal. Okay, and now when I hit the same command, disable equal star, you can see all the disabled repos that you have. It takes like a few seconds to prompt all the repos. There we go. See? Also, you can check now the jump repos D, the Red Hat that repo. There are a few repositories available. The only thing that you need to do is enable it. In this case, I'm going to enable. Um, let me see. Oh, it's so so long. Um, yeah, there are too many, too many, too many. So I'm going to scroll up and find you see there are too too many you can edit manually this file and change enable equal one to the repository that you want but in my case I'm gonna oh you see there are too many repositories that you can enable wow okay I will use this one let me see if I see it right away it's this one that I, the repository that I need this one it's a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 server RPMs. So, what, how can I sus how I subscribe the system to this repository? If you see on jump repo list, it's just one the local repo that I create. So now I will do the subscription manager. Um, it's a repos and that dash enable. I want to enable, oh no, it's not this one. I'm going to enable this one, the name. You can say the name or equal name, like this. Like the same. Hit enter. And now you will see the screen that says the, the, the system has been subscribed to this repository. Just wait a few seconds. Let me increase a little bit there. You see? Now it's enabled. Now when you hit jump, repo list. You will see the new repository, and this is the pretty much the updates from the Red Hat. So 
for your testing, for your system, as a VM, to lab, to practice your labs. This is the repository that you will you need. Okay? Let me give you a few seconds to finish. It's very slow, the connection. Come on. Okay. Let's take take a few moments to I don't know why the connection is as slow. Well, better than nothing, but it's almost finished. It's 26 megs, the, the database. So it's all right. Remember, this subscription is just valid for 30 days. So let me close this, this, and also let me carve this, and let me close this. Okay. You can use your own personal email address, but it's fine. You can create a new one just for this testing. Okay. There we go. Now you can do something that jump, list, and kernel. And you will see you have a new kernel version that you can install. So, okay. This is how to subscribe the system to the Red Hat Network and see you on the next video.